This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, it's going to seem very basic, but I'm going to show you guys how to properly restart your iPhone. I'm going to preface this. I recommend that everyone restarts their iPhone at least once a month. I personally do it once a week, but it's totally up to you how you do it. Now, the way to do this normal restart, if you have an iPhone 14 Pro or one of the newer iPhones, all you do is hold the volume up button and the power button, hold them together until you see this and you can let go. Then you see slide to power off, just slide it and it powers off. Now, at this point, this is where some people mess up. As soon as they see this go black, they immediately hold the power button to turn it back on. And while yes, you probably can do that, the phone is actually still shutting down even right now. It's been like 30 seconds, it's still shutting down. So in this case, I let the phone sit for five minutes. You could probably get away with three minutes if you're in a time crunch. Now you're probably asking yourself, why the hell do I have to wait three to five minutes? Well, first reason is it makes sure that the phone's totally off. So at this point, the phone is probably totally off, but I've seen it take upwards of a minute to fully turn off an iPhone. The next reason is you want it to be a little bit cool to the touch or at least cooled off. The tech nerds out there, you already know when the memory inside of the iPhone, like the RAM is even just a little bit warm, it can store data. So if something was corrupted, like a cache or something, you want it to be cooled off so that all of that memory is purged. This is not important data, so it does not matter if it's cleared. In fact, you want it to be cleared at a restart. So what you're doing for those three to five minutes is you're letting the phone clear out all those bad caches that could have glitches, causing issues, slowness, uh, keeping it off for a couple minutes clears all that out. And I know three to five minutes can be a while. Just go grab your iPad, play on that for a little bit, or go touch grass, something like that. Uh, while you're waiting for the phone. And after those three to five minutes are up, you can be sure that your phone is fully ready to go. So just hold the power button, just this power button over here until you see the Apple logo and you can let go. And there you go. Now the phone's booting back up and it will be ready to go in just a second. Now, when you are doing these restarts, I highly recommend you do it without charging the phone. Just leave it as it is. That way it fully shuts down uh, and there's no question about that. Now I'm gonna show you the other way. Let's say you're in an application and nothing works. You cannot get out of the app, uh, everything's stuck and you can't swipe home. You can't power it off the way I just told you with the volume up and the power button, it doesn't work. Here is the emergency way to restart a phone. It does not hurt the phone, it's fine to do. Uh, this is just not the recommended way to do it every single day. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press volume up and then press volume down. You're not holding it, you just press up, press down and then hold the power button. So I'll show you guys in action. Press volume up, volume down and then hold the power button and just keep holding it. Do not let go of the power button. Keep holding it even with this screen, just keep holding. I promise it'll work. <laughs> just keep holding, keep holding, and eventually it will go black, keep holding. And at this point, the phone is going to restart. And once you see the Apple logo, you can let go. That's it. Yeah, that's how you do a force restart. If you're really stuck and nothing else works, do it that way. This is one of those videos that seems so basic, but uh, these little tips can really help. So definitely share this around with your mom, your grandma, even your friends, and they will appreciate it because, hey, everyone gets stuck in an app sometimes and can't get out and this is one way to do it. Now, if you're still watching this far, I'm gonna give you guys a pro tip that I have learned over my 15 years of owning an iPhone or some 14, 15 years. I have learned that after doing an iOS update, like one of the big updates for the phone, which by the way, you should always keep your phone up to date, always. Um, it patches a lot of security holes. But after you do one of those updates, you should use your phone just a bit for about five or 10 minutes. Let it cache everything in the background, give it about five or 10 minutes of using the phone or just leaving it like this unlocked and then reboot the phone. I have seen so many people have issues after a big iOS update and they're like, oh, this update was horrible. It broke all of my apps. You know, this isn't working. Location's broken, blah, blah, blah. All they have to do is restart the phone after the update, which seems counterintuitive. You would think, hey, I just did a big update. Everything should be working. But unfortunately, that's not how electronics work. So just to reiterate, you do the iOS update, your phone comes back up. It looks like this. You're using the phone as normal, blah, 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 check in Facebook, check in email, use it for about five or 10 minutes or just let it sit like this. Then after five or 10 minutes, do a normal reboot, which again, holding the volume up and power, hold it, hold it, hold it, and then slide to power off. Do that, then wait to three to five minutes like I mentioned before and boot it back up and you should have no issues after the update, at least with regards to iOS. So everything should be fixed at that point. It should eliminate almost all bugs that the update caused. So if you found this video useful, please share it with your friends because I can't tell you how many times I get messaged asking about how to restart the phone, how to fix bugs and why their phone is always glitchy after an update. This fixes all of that. So if you like the video, hit the big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.